What is up guys, in this video we will learn to implement augmented faces in our AR apps. So let's quickly set up the project, go to build.gradle file and add the dependency of sceneform UX. Version 1.8.0 is the latest currently but if a new update comes then I suggest you to use the latest update. Add Java ad support, go to the manifest file and add permission camera, declare feature camera, add metadata hit sync now. Now let's get the assets that we are going to use for this example app. We have two files here. I'll put a link to these two files in the description box. You can download it from there. Copy the foxface.sfb file and create a new android resource directory. Raw directory. Paste this sfb file here. You can also create your own models and use it if you know how to create content. Now copy the texture image file and paste it in the drawable folder. Create a new Java class. Call this class custom AR fragment. This class will extend AR fragment and implement three of its methods which are get session configuration, get session features and on create view. In get session configuration create an object of config and set augmented face mode to mesh 3D and then set up the session lastly return the config object in get session features return enum set of front camera this will change the default camera to front and in on create view create an object of frame layout Super dot on create view inflator container saved instance state and cast it to frame layout and now call get plane discovery controller dot set instruction view null and get plane discovery controller hide this will remove the hand motion that you see in front of the screen when the app starts and also this will remove the dots that are placed on the detected planes and then return the frame layout object. Now go to activity main.xml file, remove the text view, add a fragment, set with an eye to match parent, give this an ID AR fragment, name will be custom AR fragment. Go to main activity.java file, create an object of custom AR fragment and refer this to the custom AR fragment that we have in our XML file. Cast this to custom AR fragment. Set the scene of this custom AR fragment on update listener by calling get AR scene view. Get scene, add on update listener frame time create an object of model renderable and create an object of texture class build the model renderable set source this r.raw.foxface dot build then accept renderable model renderable equals renderable and set model renderable shadow caster to false and shadow receiver to false this will remove the shadow that will be casted if it is set to true now build the texture 
set source this r dot drawable dot fox face mesh texture dot build then accept the texture and this dot texture equals texture create an object of frame and get this frame from our scene view by calling custom AR fragment get AR scene view dot get AR frame and create a collection of augmented face class call this augmented faces and get all the trackables from augmented face dot class and go through each of this augmented faces Now what is this collection? Well, this collection contains all the faces that are being tracked by the device's camera. Now create a boolean variable, call this is added. It will be false. And if is added, then we will return. Now create an object of augmented face node for our augmented face and add this node to our scene by calling set parent custom AR fragment dot get AR scene view dot get scene and apply the renderable on this augmented face node by calling set face region renderable model renderable and then apply the texture on this node set face mesh texture texture and then set is added to true and also add this if statement and if model renderable is null or our texture is null then we will return and inside the onCreate method add this line custom AR fragment dot get ARC in view set camera stream render property to renderable dot render priority first what this will do is this will make sure that the camera stream renders first so that the face mesh occlusion works correctly and before we can run and test our app, we have to do some changes in our custom AR fragment. Remove this get plane discovery controller dot hide and add the same thing here before setting the instruction view to null. When this is not done, then the hand motion still appears. Now we can run and test our app. It's time to run and test our app. Open the app. Allow permission camera and this thing works perfectly. 